Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 9 of Tribe 9. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> No, oh, he gonna throw it, all right. Jesus Christ. That's so fucked up. I mean, but, you know, he also did it with no fucking remorse. Oh, my God. Well, bye then, puppy. Okay, good. We're still continuing off of last week. Because for a moment, I thought we weren't. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, how did you get here so quickly? Haru.
but hold up. Kazuki, your arm. You, your arm is fucked up, sir. That and yeah, they don't trust you. <laughs> yeah, join hands and sing kumbaya. Yeah, and in a way, no offense, you guys have probably been using him as a, from the beginning as well. So why, you know, why get angry? Let bygones be bygones. You're still friends. He's right. <laughs> oh shit! Oh damn! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh my god! <laughs> you got this, baby. Can we also still turn on the umpires, please? So they don't do anything besides killing y'all, trying to kill y'all again like they did last week. Are you fucking kidding me? That is... Uh, that's a good cheating move, but you know, hey, they will cheat no matter what. Exactly, so what else can they do?
Sáu hộ mấy Huh. A walk off one. Huh. And if you do, please don't fuck up this time. Come on, hurry. Damn. Hmm. The 
motherfucker got bombs everywhere! Oh my god! Oh hell nah! But, well, you chose the right one. Yeah, but there's still another bomb behind you. Oh. <sighs> Uh-uh. Yeah. You're seriously going to leave? Mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah, you might as well just stay. Let me not.
See, hold up. That, that's something I always want to know. Like, is it possible for them to make new rules? I mean, they are higher up. And, you know, in this world and in this game, they should be able to make rules and such, right? But who fucking knows? Now you really going to kill him? What? Well, damn! Cody! What? Are you fucking kidding me? Wait! Wait! Time out! Time out! Time out! Time out! Time out! Time out. Time out. Hold up! Wait, 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 wait. I did not see that fucking coming. You're tell- well, why would he kill him? I think it's like, okay, it's your father figure, quote unquote. You look at him like a father figure in a way. Is this revenge on Kazuki? It's on Ka Because of Kazuki? What you did? And because you're possibly so angry about that? Oh my god. There's so many unanswered questions with this. And, uh, oh, we only got three more weeks with this show. Officially, also next week. Ah, fuck. I, oh, God. But no, okay, let's talk about the good things. Haru. Haru hit a home run. Oh, my God. Baby boy. I love him so much. Like, he did such a good job. Kazuki, he did a good job as well. I mean, now that we know the, the reason of why his arm is broken, like, thank God, because that was the biggest mystery about him. Not only about his arm, but, like, him in a nutshell, because he is a very mysterious character. I mean... I said it once and I'll say it before again. He is literally the blue haired version of freaking Nagi Dokamaida in a nutshell. So I'm glad we got like a little more context on him and that, you know, both him and what's his face were kidnapped by dude and now like he he just straight up killed him. So this revenge story that now Kazuki has, like technically it's over, but he doesn't know. Oh, this changes things so fucking much. I, I just, I don't know with like the last 10, 11, 10, 11, 12, 13, the last four weeks that we have with this show and some other shows as well. How the fuck this is going to end for this? And oh God, I'm not ready to see this show be over because I mean, th see, this is like freaking Akadama Drive all over again and getting into that every single week and getting closer and closer to the end of the show and you're like, God, I don't want this to end and then when it ended on Christmas, everybody cried, including myself. But like, uh, we're getting deeper into this the more and more we watch this every single week and I hope that like still when Kadaka has this game come out later on in the year, we still do get a little more context clues on these characters, as I've said before in the past, because it feels like we... It, it feels a little half-assed that we know, like, a little bit about them, but not enough. So when the gotcha game does come out, whenever the fuck it does, how they could they could have it come out when the last fucking episode comes out and being like, boom, here it is. Um... Because the fact is, we don't know if it's going to get a English version of it, which we a lot of people are secretly hoping that it does, that if even if it does in the future, that people can still translate some of the stuff. Because it is going to be hard, because officially it's going to be straight Japanese and such. But you got to use context loops and everything. But I mean, this was a really very interesting episode. It makes me wonder if the leader of Oza Tribe is truly dead, because... Dude has been wanting to kill that mofo since, like, the first time we saw him. So, if he is actually dead dead, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me because, like I said, he's been wanting to kill him. If not, maybe he just stabbed him and then just walked away and then, you know, he pulled the knife out and be like, huh, just another Tuesday. <laughs> but who really knows? But that ending, hella fucking shocking. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 9 of Tribe 9. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all <clears throat> next Monday or possibly Tuesday, depending on how it is when I get home for episode 10. Bye, guys.